I, my question is, um, ex experience, is there, can you, is there any experience, or let me phrase it like this, is, would you say that all experience to a lesser or greater degree is availing of true nature, our true nature? Or is there any experience that is not availing? Did you say, is there any experience that is not availing? Or is there any experience that is not availing of some, it, it, in it, some way? It just depends on how you look at experience. If I were to ask you, does the movie you are watching veil the screen or shine with the presence of the screen, which would you say? It, it, it Depends shines. how you look at it. Okay, if it shines with the screen, then the movie doesn't veil the screen. So experience is the same. Does any experience veil consciousness? No. All experience is made of consciousness. Consciousness is the only substance present in experience. What is there in experience other than consciousness which could veil consciousness? In other words, just like there is nothing in a movie other than the screen with which the screen could be veiled. Likewise, there is nothing in experience other than consciousness which, with which consciousness could be veiled. Unless we ignore the screen of consciousness and as a result confer reality on objective experience. Then objective experience will seem to veil the screen just as if when watching a movie we forget that it is a screen. At that moment we confer the reality of the screen onto the landscape and we think that the objects in the landscape are real objects then those objects will seem to veil the screen. So it depends on how you look. I, I think that the veiling is, is so damn convincing. What is? The veiling, it, that the... Well, the veiling is so damn convincing until consciousness is so damn convincing. And it, I think, so I've, I've had moments mostly in these meditations where I get it, I get that, and then I go back to my daily life and it's the, the persistence of the rest of the, the majority of the world and the people around me and the occurrences around me are so also so convinced of the veiling as well, that it becomes so, I get, it's so hard to uh, face that, or to... Well, that, that, that's why it's good to hang out with a crowd of people like this, because we are all reinforcing the reality for, for one another. We are all reinforcing the reality of experience. So just hanging out in a group like this, the, the habit, the, 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 it gets stronger and stronger until at some point you go back into your everyday life and, and the power that the conventional point of view has of you, it, it gets weaker and weaker and weaker until consciousness is more convincing. than your old belief system. I mean, now, are you knowing anything other than the knowing of experience? Please say no. No, no. I, 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 I know the answer is no, and I, and, and I, can, I can get myself to 
Feel, feel, feel no. What? I can get myself to feel that the answer is no and well, realize no, the answer no, is no. no. Get yourself to feel that. But just, just simple, ordinary, right now, without making any effort, are you knowing anything other than the knowing of experience? Is anyone here now knowing anything other than the knowing of experience? No. no. In, in other words, for all of us now, consciousness is shining brightly with consciousness so brightly that there is nothing in experience other than consciousness itself. Every experience we have, not only does it not veil consciousness, it announces consciousness, it celebrates consciousness, it points towards consciousness, it showcases consciousness. Just make that your habit. And it's difficult to do it one, on one's own, and that's why we hang around with like-minded people. Just hanging around, even if we're not thinking about it, we are establishing that habit. It is being established in us without our even knowing it when we come here. And when you go home, choose activities, books, friends, anything that develops this habit. Anything that takes you directly to the recognition that all that is ever known is knowing and that it is knowing that knows this knowing. It's so simple. And then lead a life as best you can that is consistent with that understanding.